So when we first got this house, it had a front door and a huge lounge area, foyer, whatever you want to call it. Sometime in November, after we'd cleaned up and really taken in the house, in November of 2021, I decided that I wanted to have a walk-in closet. So what did I do? We closed up a part of that launch area and the front door, and that's what we turned into our walk-in closet, and we were left with no front door. For the kitchen, the window was too low. It was a very long window and I knew that in the future I would want to have lower cabinets in the kitchen and that window was not going to work. So we decided to raise that window a little bit and we added two courses. That way when we build the cabinets we have enough space to do that. So in Feb of 2022, we took the old windows we had and cut them down. So we took the door and cut that down to make a window that was going to serve us in the dining area. Because at that point, the dining window was going to turn into the main door. And then um, we took the kitchen window, sliced it down and used that to block where the kitchen window used to be but it would still allow some light to come in through the window so that has served us for the past one year and it's time to take it down because in this episode we are finally working on getting a front door and some new windows let's get into it Hola, Muthun here. It's been um, quite some time, but we are finally back, back, like back for reals. I have um, a cold, Homa. Is it even a cold? I have the flu. I don't know the difference between the two. Anyway, my voice is messed up because dust and I don't know. I think it's mostly dust. Anyway, we are finally, finally back into our innovation journey and we have some new updates so for this particular video um <clears throat> we'll be looking at the journey of finally getting a front door when i tell you i've been wanting a front door for the longest time i'm not even joking and i has i have mentioned multiple times i wanted to have an indoor outdoor living space then uh, when I was looking at the numbers of not having one but two doors, <laughs> the numbers were not adding up the way I wanted them to add up. So ended up just turning one of the windows into the door and it's not the one you expect. I've been having conversations with myself about turning the dining room <coughs> window into the front door. And that initially was the plan. But then I had this thought where I was like ah then my front door and my back door are going to be super close to each other also that was the part where I was like I'm not ready to get started on the patio uh it's not even in my in the works like right now it's like a couple of months to go and I was like having the front door there is not going to help me I'll still end up having to use the back door because I won't have the the nini the entry I won't have stairs I won't have the patio and all so I was just like you know what how about we actually turn the living room window into the front door that way when you walk in you walk straight into the living room and also the advantage of that is we already have the stairs because we are not going to build new stairs we're, we're still going to use the stairs it's like actually that makes more sense and also it's not a direct line of sight and there's a bit of a distance between the back door and the front door and then transfer the window from the living room into the dining and then that enlarges the window that we had there instead of it being five feet now we have a six foot window okay We have been
been building the new doors and windows for well and window <laughs> the last um two days so today is day three i was hoping we're going to be able to install especially this main door because i'm so excited to finally start working in and out of the house through this front door um but the mason i wanted to work with is not available so we'll be doing that tomorrow but um our doors are almost ready this just needs um it needs a bit more refinement there's something that's supposed to be done uh, according to what lauren's told me for it to be ready before we can paint it and then it can be installed so here what we have is we have our main door which is this this and this are the main door uh and you can see i've got some flash bolts so this is better than having the ones that are usually on the side so this ones are on top so someone can't uh you know open this door unless this other door is open so if you can't open the one of the doors the one with the if you don't have the key for this you can't open this at all and then behind or actually in the middle of those two doors we have this tiny mesh door this is for the back where the boiler is going to be sitting so we utilized our old mesh you remember this mesh uh, we removed it from the windows so this mesh is um you know playing its role over here and this is the kitchen window we finally have a kitchen window and as i i, I didn't mention it here i'd mentioned it on jdl that I was considering closing up that wall um so despite that i still want to have more lighting in the kitchen because you know one i love my cooking videos and two you can never have enough or too much you can never have too much natural lighting so we are enlarging that window hence why that is bigger than the space we actually have and we are also enlarging this window because we're moving this window here and this window is bigger than this window by one foot so we're going to enlarge this as well which is going to also uh, mean more light coming into the dining this is what this looks like and my fund is messed up my beautiful beautiful mural now we'll have like a patchy thingy over here because we were putting the meter box outside because remember the awkward contraption we had here that i was scared was going to fall on my head at some point um so replace that with a consumer unit box instead so the house is a is a big mess but i'm really really excited and the exciting thing truthfully the doors i'm so excited to have doors oh also the other thing we're doing after we move this window here we're putting the grill and the grill is going to look like this because the door i went for as you can tell it has this excess it has x's so i wanted them to all have the x thingy um so we are putting that so you can tell this window has the x thingies that's the kitchen window already has that the door has it so i'm going to put a, a grill here with this window the bedroom window the guest room as well as the bathroom the only place that we're not doing that will be the pantry uh so yeah you've not seen me here in front of a camera <laughs> uh well we've been doing this other than the intro of course but um i'm really really excited i'm very very excited for the new doors one of the reasons i'm excited for the new doors and also fixing up the windows doing the grill and all that is i'm excited because one there's like a layer of a layer of protection uh, a layer of security that comes with that um secondly is one of the reasons i've really really wanted to have a front door is so that when i leave and come back no one's aware i, I want my movements to not be easily trackable does that make sense like because I've mentioned how like there's times where I'd be working and then you just see someone passing and there's been this level oh no please don't go around oh wow okay sorry it's a lorry bringing materials they'll just have to go back and come back to the gates that I can open for them because those materials need to come into my compound um and not at the back 
and also i can't wait to like put a privacy screen and like really just have that separation that boundary because i feel like uh boundaries have been crossed and mostly mine okay entirely mine so yeah i'm excited to get that going um because for that i i already have everything i've had everything um since late last year it's just that like i was trying i was trying not to be an a-hole uh but also unfortunately there's no reciprocity there oh wow yes i can i can be vague but direct at the same time how nice so yeah but i feel like i've gotten to the point where now i can do what i want to do without it being an a-hole move okay yes so lawrence has been building this stuff from here why because um it makes more sense financially because if he was to do this at the workshop and then bring this stuff here um chances like it was going to cost more because of the transport element and since these things are available around and it's easier to get them to the house versus um getting yeah that's that's them i they just need to go to the gate anyway that was the point um it made more sense for him to do it here um in terms of cost and it's, it was easier to transport him and his guy and his materials than it was than it is to transport the door all the way here and all that so tomorrow we get to install the door um so i'm really excited for that really really ex <laughs> I'm saying we're removing that window to install this oh, gorgeous, gorgeous door. Also, we're gonna paint it. Um, yeah, and then also fixing my gate because my gate was not straight. My gate was not straight, straight. So, since Lawrence is here, I've forced him to fix it for me. <laughs> I haven't forced him. I was like, he saw it and I was like, I can't leave you with a gate looking like this. And I was like, yeah, I agree. So this little guy served us as best as they could. So I think what I'm going to do now is begin to store this and then we can use it in the workshop. Maybe it can even like make a really cool tabletop, you know, like uh, a base for the table because these bowls are like nice and thick, you know. So I think this will still serve us. Also, look at this. These are for 
the windows on the inside and guess who's gonna install them we is but Lawrence left them ready for me to do the necessary <laughs> oh our house is shaping up um let's go to the shade so that we can do this <laughs> so as I was saying the house is really shaping up as you can see um, I feel like other than this the next big thing is honestly the kitchen which I've been saying for a long time the next big thing is the kitchen so what we are doing today we're doing everything that requires all this removal like by the end by Saturday by Sunday when I start cleaning because definitely the next thing I'm going to do is like clean because I I clean a lot after this thing because it's insane but after we're done the next thing we're going to do like I want us to finish all this cement whatever work that way once I clean now it's just my normal usual cleaning and I don't have to clean up after such an ini again you know so fingers crossed Today we are in our blood certain female white t-shirt and I'm about to leave this fundies and go to work. Also, the gate was fixed. Now, when someone's walking past the whatnot, they cannot see us. <laughs> we love that for us, you know? I told Lawrence I wanted, I didn't, I wanted this covered. So we covered, remember the X whatever thing is, oh wait. X. <laughs> There's also X's on this side and the front. He also covered here so that the gate that is not always opened has a stopper because we didn't have a stopper. So when you open the gate, they both just fly open. Bruno, where are you going? Bruno, come back here. So I told him I wanted a key. And he was like, yeah, I know the kind of lock you should get. So we ended up getting this deadlock lock which has for me all i wanted was i needed it to be a lock that's you need on both sides and then he was like i don't even want it to like sit on top i'm gonna do where it's like inside so the lock is ukundani and then now they just put this thingy because the here we had like a larger hole uh so he just used silicone to attach it but then on the front side it's just like this keyhole because there was already just a keyhole on that side so yes can't wait to paint this and now we're going to now really paint this gate nicely so that is that my ride I watch any talk eh the face of Casablanca is changing so yeah I'm happy about that I'm excited about that and you know the cool thing is like I leave like yesterday I left I left that gap I came back and there was a door so today I come back and there's two windows Playing traces, going all to different places, different planets. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance. What if we were out of time and second chances? Empty handed. You left the fast life. You left the trap, get down the Yeah, day one it was installed yesterday the windows were installed so now we're doing the finishing on the outside because it has to be done twice so the finishing out here so it looks nice and neat so that we can now come and put the glass so we're doing finishing work that's what's happening today hmm. We made this car it's supposed to be circular, but this shape is <laughs> it looks it's an interesting shape. This is where the tank is going to sit because I didn't want it to be just on the ground. So I asked someone to just whip up this. So we got that.
many days is finally doing the glass on the doors so <laughs> you <laughs> 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 was looking for a matte black lock but the only place that I found that had well the two places that I found that had matte black locks one was 19,000 the other one was 17,000 and it didn't even come that was just this part no this part alone was 7,000 and then you had to buy the lock for the 10 k and I was just like huh so I went and bought a silver one <laughs> this silver one was 4,000 something, 45, I think about 4,500 and then I spray painted it myself now it's black, just like my door because I just wanted it to match the door over here We did it! Nini will work with the windows, the glass, uh, steel wire, just dry steel wire and it worked really really well so we've decided we're going to do that tomorrow, uh, my brother and I. Oh you can see the difference, see this one I've wiped and this one that I've not touched and I really like my door. So now once we paint because we're waiting for this party to dry we sand it down a bit and then we now paint um, the party so it's going to be all black. Uh, although at one point I was tempted, I was like, oh, what if we had like a magenta door? Like a hot pink, like a fuchsia door. Like, you know, the thought is still there. The thought is still very much there. <laughs> Aye. Let me, hey, it's getting cold. It's getting cold in here. Out here. Look at me, am I gorgeous, gorgeous doll. I, I love everything about the store. I, I really love it. And I think the thing I love the most is walking in and out. 
um, through this door. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I really, really like it. I love the door. And this door was inspired by this store that I saw on Pinterest because, of course, Pinterest is um, what gives us the audacity to think we can do this. <laughs> But the, also the fact that we actually can, but you know, but I really, really, really like the way this looks. And now I don't have to worry about like my uh, nini, like not being able to open any windows. I can open all my windows. I can open some of my windows. I can open none of my windows if I want to. I'm just like really, really excited. And I can't wait to show you everything else we've been doing at the house because we've done a lot in the last couple of weeks in the last like two weeks last week into this week we <laughs> this one you're a hater <laughs> also shout out to my brother for filming um all the parts where i wasn't around when i i was going to work and he was left here with the fundies i was like please please film for me so thanks to him we have footage uh in there a lot more footage than we would have if it was just me but i am so happy of course as per usual as per cower the contacts for all the fundies that i worked with well the two of the fundies that i worked with are going to be in the description box i'm going to also mention like things like where i bought the lock mm, the trumas of course you can buy trumas from like your local truma hardware um when it comes to things like the paints of course you know color creators came to rule with our paint and when we talk about what else like the hinges and the whatever's uh, Lawrence picked them up for me in Gikomba somebody's looking for me oh my god so much for watching this video um next week come back for another video uh the bathroom makeover is ongoing and we have done a lot in there oh my god even like right now I'm like I've been doing stuff here and doing the bathroom at the same time and i'm really 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 excited to show you all the cool stuff that i've been working on and things are really 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 coming together for the patio we are gonna hold off on that for now we're gonna give it give ourselves some some time so thank you so so much for the love you've been showing me for your patience but now your patience is about to pay off in a major way. So see you back here next Friday with episode 4 of the bathroom. Well, technically it is episode 5. It's still practically part of the bathroom. But if you want to see how we refinished and uh, fixed up the tab, uh, you have to come back next week. It, it, it's, it looks amazing. Like, I, I can't stop being like oh my god how is this the same bathtub so if you want to see how that process was like and all the tries x and all the things i've had to learn in the in the doing of that come back next week also discovered that the tab is 75 years old so see you next friday with another video but of course you can find me on jdl if you want to keep up with all the other two thingies that happen um be sure to subscribe to that channel and i will see you over there on tuesday thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for your time your patience and your love i cannot wait to see you back here next week for another video have yourself a beautiful beautiful weekend Bye. <laughs>